Hey you guys, I'm Marty Geek. In this video, I want to share with all you guys a couple tips here on how to improve your video streaming experience on mobile devices when you are not on Wi Fi, when you're using your own data from your ATT or T Mobile or Verizon or Sprint, whatever, any company. Um, this is especially for all you guys that are new to smartphones or you have your smartphone for the first time ever. Uh, you might want to know some of these tips. So, first of all, um, Netflix a couple weeks ago released a website called fast.com. Um, like you see here, like you see there, it's powered by Netflix. And all this website does is test your download speeds from the Netflix servers. So like you see here, how we calculate, we calculate this estimate fast.com perform series of downloads from your Netflix server. Uh, like you see here, I got a score of 36 megabytes per Per megabits per second download which is pretty good uh, you could tap right there again if you want to do the test again and it'll keep doing the test and like you see there you're not gonna get the upload speed and you're not gonna get the ping speed as well because it, all it matters for Netflix is to know your download speed so like you see here we are good here we got 36 megabits per second which is pretty good very simple website and all you got to do I'm just gonna leave the link in my description it says fast.com and that's it uh, now that we're talking about Netflix let's go and show you guys a couple things here you could do on Netflix uh, when you open up the Netflix app you go to settings you go to app settings in the bottom and here you got cellular data service uh, usage uh, by default is going to be set right here which says uh, automatic default data and quality settings honestly I recommend to change that to one of these options and the great thing here uh, I think this happened like a month ago that now Netflix and a couple other companies now they tell you they give you a couple options of streaming and they tell you how many uh, hours or minutes you're going to be spending per hour uh, like for example here you got watch four hours per gigabyte that's something you should know especially when you have a data cap in your service so that's pretty good that's good enough for wa for watching like uh like four two movies two hours each that's pretty good uh, if you're watching tv shows four tv sh four episodes of an hour each that's good or eight episodes or seven episodes of 30 minutes may uh maybe um that's pretty good per gigabyte that's good and low basically is like 480p which for me on mobile phones and small screens is good enough um here you got medium which is actually going to spend two hours per gigabyte here you got high which is obviously is going to be like 1080p you get one hour per gigabyte and here you have unlimited and says warning not suggested with all in a limited plan that's because uh, you might get a video service of over uh 1080p because remember netflix and a couple other companies like amazon they're also streaming 2k and 4k uh, on mobile devices so uh, you got to be careful with that so honestly i recommend to leave it on low because low is basically like 480p which i think is good enough especially when you're watching a lot of videos um through netflix and your data plan you know it's kept uh that's one thing you could do there uh, another thing we could do here on on another service for example if you are an amazon prime member which is uh now with amazon prime you can actually pay monthly i think it's uh 9.99 monthly and here the great thing is that you can actually download the movies and tv shows from um, prime to your phone but they also if you go to uh the settings section right here you go to settings uh here you got mobile network for video got there uh, here you have the option to only watch it with videos when you are on Wi-Fi here you got the option for good quality 120 minutes per gigabyte better quality 60 minutes per gigabyte and 30 minutes per gigabyte uh, that's pretty high like you see here these video quality uh, are very 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 high so for me i think this is like 720p this is like 1080p and this right here might be over 1080p because 30 minutes compared to netflix which actually gives you an hour i don't know uh but 
the same thing you can do here. You can actually see how many minutes you're going to be spending per gigabyte. Uh, good quality, I would leave it there because if it's 480p or 720p, believe me, guys, it's good enough for smartphone um, screens. So that's the one thing that you could do here. Here, you cannot do anything else uh, besides this right here. It says um, SD download quality. Um, here, you can actually, with this service, you can actually download videos from Prime to your device. That way you can watch your videos without Wi-Fi or without data. That's awesome. So right here, you can download shorter download times, use less storage, better. If you click better, that's going to use more. If you choose um, best, longer download time and uses more storage, the storage of your phone. So honestly, I recommend to use good um, quality. That way you could download more stuff to your more episodes or more movies to your smartphone or to your tablet and use less storage. That's something to ask. Or if you want, always ask when downloading. That's another good option there. I honestly keep it in shorter download times, uses less storage. Now, another application that we use a lot is YouTube, right? So here in settings, we go to settings, we go to general. And here in general, it says limit mobile data usage, only stream HD video on Wi-Fi. This honestly, um, by default, is going to be like this. The problem with leaving it like this is that if you're streaming uh, videos when you are on your network, a lot of times the app is going to act actually force on HD streaming to your phone. And a lot of times you're gonna have problems with um, videos um, pausing a lot or videos taking forever to launch because they're buffering. Sometimes you start watching a video and 10 minutes later or five minutes later, it freezes, then it goes up again. You know, if you're having a lot of those problems, honestly, I recommend to leave this like this. And what this is gonna do is that it's actually gonna be playing the videos at 4 ADP on your network when you're not on Wi-Fi. And that's good, again, because 480p on a small screen for me is good enough, especially when you're watching a two-minute or three-minute or four-minute video. Uh, who cares if it's 1080p or 4K? And you're going to have less problems with um, video skipping, videos pausing, and all that. So that's one tip there that you should actually know. So guys, that's it for this video. I just wanted to share with this video with everybody that's new to smartphones or if you are having problems streaming videos this might help you out you know just make sure you go through all those applications that you normally use and try to find the best you know download streaming options available if there is so thanks for watching the video guys if you have other tips go ahead and share it with this in the comments till next time guys